Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan, for episode 32, with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's May 1, here on Edgewater, Saskatchewan. I've got my trident. Egg production's going well, cows are all doing okay, pigs, sheep, everything. Walls being produced, fabric, all the various different crops are going. My crops are planted, my sorghum and my barley are growing, and we've got weeds. So I'm in my trident, we're going to go down, I'm taking the back off of it, they had the fertiliser back on it. We're going to go down and get the liquid fertiliser sprayer back, because we're going to put some herbicide down. I could get a manual weeder, because they're only small weeds at the moment. I set off the JCB to come down so we can lift the back up and put it on. We went a very strange route, <laughs> as you probably just saw. Um, and there he comes now, down the road. So we're going to follow him down and he can then load the um, the back on for us. We'll buy some herbicide and then we're going to get the herbicide done. Then we're going to buy a new planter, a larger planter. Because we're into May, we can plant our cotton. So we can get our cotton in the ground now. That will then need to be fertilised and it will need to be rolled. So... Let's try and get out to the traffic. We'll head down now. Um, not on this Let's Play, but on my other one, Carpathian Countryside, we have encountered something of a problem. Um, a catastrophic problem that could... What is he doing? That could indeed mark the entire end of the Let's Play. And it is this. Uh, I, I recorded a load yesterday, depends when this posts actually, but um, on s Monday, <laughs> recorded a load on Monday to um, to edit into a video, but not a full video, so I went back on this morning to finish off what I was doing, film it, and then edit my video together. Um, it won't load past 85%. I thought... Maybe I'd installed a mod since the last time I was in it that might be causing a problem. It could be that the save game's corrupted. I tried using the backup save game that's stored on the cloud because I've got it on the, on, on the console storage and cloud storage. No joy. Um, I've tried, because I'm playing it as I'm with this as well, on multiplayer server. So we get the option to have an extra bank account or whether it be the county or the region or whatever that's got like a governing body. So I thought, okay, you know what, it could be the multiplayer situation. So I'll jump off, I'll load it up in normal single player, and then I'll just have to worry about when I go back onto multiplayer, separating the money back out again in the separate. Will not load. I cannot get it to go past 85%. So I'm going to try it again later on. If it won't, that's it. Carpathian countryside done. I, I can't short of then going back in starting an entire new save game if I can remember what I had where I had it what I'd done how much money all that which I could do if I went back into a previous watch one of my previous videos but the time taken to set all that up it will be insane so I don't know what to do really I'm a, I'm a bit I'm so annoyed I wish I'd just catch a break for once um, so what I'm hoping is this won't be too heavy there we go I will drive forward, but to be fair, I could have just backed the other vehicle up. So we'll get that up into place. On the other side, I think we are. I just sit that on the frame, like that. Whoa, okay. That's a bit weird. And that should now, hopefully, jump in. And attach. Oh, there. We are. Okay, that's good. Right, that's on. So what I'll do now is we can I say send him on his merry way. Depends if he gets stuck again. But we'll get him onto the main road and see if we can send him back. Again, it's one of those things I keep forgetting. I keep trying to you know either drive one vehicle down, then another vehicle down, or I'll use the, the straps and I'll hook them onto the back of a vehicle or whatever I'm doing with the straps, and then. traffic and then sort of tow it with me but um yeah just hire a worker well, I keep forgetting come on 
train. Truck has got to stop because the train is so. Hopefully it's going to here, into here. Set destination, hopefully back at the... I'll stick it there on the road, that's where the best thing. Like that, like that. Come on, you can do it. Excellent. Don't know which way it's going to go, but... So what we do now is some... How is it blocked by an object already? We're getting a bit of lag. That's weird. Um, actually, we want the store, don't we? Okay, I'm going through here. Right. Uh, so, we want herbicide. I don't think I've got a better option for it, in all honesty. I think the tank holds 5,000 and something litres. So, if I get a couple start us off with, if we have to come back, I can. Now this was another one, if you get it standard, it was one price, but if you get it with the um, spot application, it really ramp the price up. I think we ended up going up to 104,000 for the sprayer, but because we already had the base unit, it's, it's all right. It's worth every penny. Let's go. Get our beacons on. Ooh. Seems to me all the traffic's kind of bunched up together. It could be because it was following along behind the uh, Telehander before. I might have to come out and come back in again because I'm. Seems a little bit odd at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. So to do the two big fields combined that I put um, sorghum in, do those first, and then I'll cross, cross over the road to the east and we'll get the barley done, and then I'll get my, uh, probably the magnum I think this time, down for the new planter. I haven't got it yet, but we'll get a new planter. I'm probably going to get a front tank for that as well, and we'll get our cotton in the ground. I'll tell you what, the local constabulary, they're relentless, aren't they? Never seen one on the other road, just this one. So, beacons off. Pretty sure we do have weeds on there. We need small weed. Oh, there we go. Look, just see there. Yeah, let's get rid of them. Get rid of them before they get any worse. Oh, so I could use a mechanical weeder for the small weeds, but. Let's go. Well, this goes at a fair old pace. Blimey. That's alright, isn't it? Spot application. Absolutely hooning across the field. Well, we should get this done really quickly. Wow, I was not expecting to be that fast. We'll do the glowing. Whoa, no, no, no. Okay. Raise them, raise them, lower them all together, but it's uh, 
one side or the other, isn't it? Actually, let's just stop there a second. So, that one does that one. Does that go forwards as well? No. Something down. That one will do that one. Can I do the whole boom? There we go, that's better. Let's bring that down, otherwise I'm just putting spray out into the air and not onto the crop. I'll have to allow for any, mm, not really any undulations on this one. That's better. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a bit, I'm a bit um, devastated is the wrong word, but I'm, I'm absolutely gutted. I was so enjoying. Literally, the last episode, I'd sort of changed tack on Carpathian for what I was intending to do, and then I kind of changed my path a little bit. I was really looking forward to how that was going to go. Um, I'm sure people will send me all different ideas and things to try. I know when people have messaged me in the past, since FS22 came out, saying similar things, they've been playing on a particular Let's Play and the game won't load up more than 95% or 80%, someone had said 65%, what do they do? And I've messaged people about saying, it's not something I've ever had a problem with, I've, I've never had an issue with that happening. And then wallop, out of nowhere. So yeah, I will try it again just in case, but I'm assuming something's gone wrong. Or a blue. Well, mind the boom. I'm not using. Oh, it's a good thing about precision farming and doing the spike application, you use very little. And that'll be our weed in sorted. So that little pocket right there. How did I manage to get caught in that tree? There we go. <laughs> right, let's do it backwards. Are we still replying? And do it forwards. I did have some people say to me that the um, seed hawk I got in the last episode was um, is too big for the map because of all these waterways and stuff like that. And, um, in all honesty, when I first, on obviously on the episode when I was doing the application initially on here, it was just getting used to the, the sort of feel of the vehicle, the movement of it, because I had articulation on articulation on articulation kind of thing. Once I got into the other field, I got into a bit of a rhythm, it was no problem at all. Just took a bit of getting used to I think I've, I've put crop in the next field over, haven't I? Looking at that. Anyway, so herbiciding, I'll get done. Have I exercised my horse today? I'm not sure, I need to go and check that. The horse is doing great. King Charles III, doing fantastically. Um, and chickens, oh man, I, I, oh that's the point, yeah, I put in a um, another pallet and bale storage over by the chickens. I've been taking the egg pallets out and putting them into the pallet storage for the time being, um, just to kind of get a gauge of how much. Whoa, hang on. Let's do. Uh, what we want. That's better. Seems on a bit of an angle there. Yeah, just to get an idea of how much we've kind of got, and we've got a fair bit. I can see, I remember watching um, 
Nick Welker on Welker Farms when they were they were doing um, spraying and it caught the boom on the ground and the same thing they'd gone past telegraph poles I think he hit a telegraph pole once I'm trying to think and um, it so happens more than you think it only takes a momentary lapse of concentration I suppose as well you take a turn a little bit too wide and you've got to be aware of fence posts and everything haven't you around you I mean even I suppose some of these sorts of bushes you don't know how thick they are whereas in game we can just kind of go through them and don't really notice too much but IRL you have to don't you So let me just have a quick check on here and then we want to go that way, that way. Okay, so all around there. Right, there's that little bit there. Missed a little bit there. Then I'll work around the field, then we move on to this one, get all that done. And we're good to go. Right, suddenly dawned on me as I was going across the other field was I should have put the row crop tyres on. I had the floaters on from when I was doing the um, fertilising, not fertilising, liming, yeah. And um, as I started going across the field, I suddenly thought I should have swapped over. So I've swapped over and put row crops on for doing this field, which I should have done before, but it's all right.
Okay. Herbiciding is done. As you've seen, I've swapped over the backs. Um, so we've got the fertilizer back, or the lining, whichever way you want to look at it, is on. Um, I've bought the John Deere DB120. I bought a um, front tank. Combined should give me. Should we give me over 5,000 litres? Maybe. This is a 30. 6.5 meter or 37.5 meter it's something like that it's a meter eater let's just say that i'm not sure we have got the other plant i did keep the other planter the great plains one which is a little bit narrower so if we get to any points on the fields we're going to go and plant now if i have any problems i can get the smaller one out as well i might run them both together actually if i get to a point where i can set a worker off i might get the other one out um as you've also seen, I've grabbed some boxes of seed back out. God, that's big, isn't it? Blimey. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> so I'm hoping... Let's put all those on. Let's light it up like Christmas. So everyone knows. As I always say. Idiot with a tractor and long machinery. This is crazy long. So cotton's what we're going to be putting in the ground. Whoa, did not like that. This has been recording on a separate day to the previous part of this. And um, you may be glad to hear, you may not, I don't know. Um, my problem with Carpathian countryside has been solved by Michael. Depends, I might put it on, on editing, it might have come up earlier. Um, oh, what an absolute genius. Had exactly the same problem I had. Described the problem he had, and it was that perfect storm of things going wrong. And it just so happened it was exactly what had happened on mine. I will explain on Carpathian and Countryside as well, because hopefully I will be getting back on there and carry on. I was almost at the point I was going to um, delete what I had. And I was going to reset the game up. I was talking to Mr. City Power, so I think my only choice now is going to be to reset everything. And I'm so glad you messaged me. And there might be other people having the comments for the video, but he was the first person to get get to me with the uh, with the information. So yeah, what it transpired was, and I hadn't it hadn't even crossed my mind because I did say that um, I thought it was. A mod that I'd installed, a new mod, and I couldn't work out what mod that I'd potentially installed between the last time I played it and when I went back on. And I hadn't installed anything. And that's what I could not for the life of me work it out. So he messaged me and said, actually what we'll do is close those back up, screw the lids back on. We're at the front for the front tank, which is now open. Let's get that put in. I need to change that over to cotton. Got enough in there? Not quite, but enough in that one. <laughs> I didn't quite get enough out. I forgot I had the front tank as well. There we go, 6,604 litres, that should work. Yeah, so what had actually transpired, I said on the Carpathian video, I'd taken on a potato harvesting contract, which I had. I'd borrowed their equipment because I don't have any potato harvesting gear. And it had given me um, the potato harvester and an Adirante trailer, which is unusual. Normally when you get contract jobs, you get standard in-game trailers. It doesn't often give you a modded trailer. I didn't think anything of it. Went out to the field, started doing the harvest, and then I think mods dropped or maps had dropped, so I thought I'll get on and do that. So I came out of the game, I could not get back in. 85% wouldn't go anywhere. So he messaged me and said, this is the problem I had. I took on a potato harvest and it gave me a strange trailer that I'd never had before. And he said, I think it was the Adirante pack um, so he said, I went in, uninstalled that mod, and it let me back in again. So I'm thinking, that's exactly, exactly what had happened to me. So I thought, okay, can't hurt to try, can it? So I messaged him and said, thank you very much for the information. I will go and give it a try. Uninstalled the Adder Antipack, because it had just had an update as well. Weirdly, weirdly or not weirdly, I don't know. Um, went on after uninstalling the Adranti pack and it loaded first time 
Problem I have got though is I've got a potato contract, I've got the potato harvester, I've got the tractor pulling the trailer and no trailer now. Um, I have to lease one, but it solved the problem. So we're back in. It is not the end. I was convinced it would either be the end of the Let's Play or I was going to have to spend, like I have done before, you know sometimes when a map gets an update and the update needs a new save game and I'm however many episodes into a Let's Play, I have to then reset the entire map exactly how it was on a new save game. I was, that's what I was going to have to do. So it saved me having to do that. Absolute legend. So yeah, all good. I'm really enjoying Carpathian in Countryside. This one and that one, views are tanking, but I'm enjoying them. <laughs> so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing, I guess. If you're watching, thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for still watching. Right, we are nearly there. That's something I haven't done. I haven't removed any of the fencing here, which I think I might do before I start. So I can get the run up the side of there without having to worry too much about it being too close. I'm going to take some of the fencing out, but what I'm going to do is open this up first, because this is um, this big. Now I've gone for, what did I go on this for options? I went for the additional little tank on the front there, which increased the capacity to, was it 4,040 or 4,400 off the start. I have gone for, what did I go for, row cleaners? I think I went for row cleaners as well. And I went for the fan unit, I think, as well. So it should get that fantastic sound. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's going further. Okay. Have I left myself enough room? That is quite the unfold, isn't it? That is absolutely spot on. And a complete accident. Wow, this is. Blimey. So, I'm going to take some fence now, and then we'll get this going, shall we? staggered by that. <laughs> I don't know why I am, but anyway. Well, that's that done. So, let's get on with this. Back up a little bit. This should be a little bit easier because it's directly connected. Plus, I haven't got loads of um, weird bits. <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to like that bend too much. There's a bit of flex in it, we'll see, won't we? So, switch to that. Drop it down. Am I not supposed to be doing cotton on this map? Variable seed rate not available for cotton. Really? Well, maybe. We've got, we've got a window for it, haven't we? Wow, that is crazy. This is not going to take as long as it. Look at that. <laughs> that sounds brilliant as well. I'm going to hire a worker just got the straight bit here. Look at that. I love it. Like I said, the meter eater. I 
I mean, get through through a fair bit of sea. That's weird, isn't it? I wonder why. Hmm. They will see very not very much gone. Hmm. Maybe it's one of those crops that it's just not. It's not something I've ever. I'm trying to think if I've done cotton with with um, precision farming on before. I don't think I have. That could be why. Right, let's turn it on, drop it down. Right, so if things can get a little bit more interesting, it's going to take a little while to get used to the, uh, the radius of this to get the turn just right, but well, it's not too bad. Just a little bit. Come back and cover that bit later if I need to. Fantastic purchase. And because I did all that work to the waterways and stuff, I should be able to. I mean, I don't know, I'm just looking at some of the gaps actually thinking they might be a bit narrow for this, so I might have to break out the Great Plains as well. Maybe. It's just turn, no, turn too late, I think. Where did I? Well, maybe. No, it's not too bad. Not too bad, straighten up. <laughs> Loving it. I did bring a load of seed up from the um, seed production building and put it into my silo, so I have got some seed up here as well. So I might as well. And plus, I was producing some from before, so I think I'd. I want to say I had about 12,000 litres still in there. Did I? It was something like that, wasn't it? The gap here is not too bad. Oh, overlapped a little bit there. End up in the ditch. I'm really enjoying doing this. I don't know why I'm really enjoying doing this. I suppose because it's been a long time coming, waiting for the harvest or the planting period to come around. But since I prepped this field and did the waterways and limed it and got it all ready, it seems like an absolute age. Can I get through this gap here? No, I think I may have just fluffed that. If I can get round, come on, just pull away a little bit. Nope. I don't even know if I'll get through that gap actually. Yes, yeah, so this could be one of those situations where I'm going to need the other one. Because I think that gap might be too wide. Uh, too, too wide. I'm too wide for that gap. If I'm not, we're going to be squeaking through. Oh, we're too wide, aren't we? I mean, buy a... F oh, I don't know. No, if I line that up better, we might get through there. Be better. Be better at this. Come on. Oh, skin of our teeth. Skin of our teeth. Carefully, because we're right up the edge of the, the uh, map as well, I think, aren't we? Here, I'm trying to remember. Sure, we are. Right, well, might do a bit of a montage, a bit of music. I don't know, I'm trying to think. Might speed up time a little bit. It's always a difficult one with cotton. With sugar beet, it's one of those ones you know, because cotton pays very well. But it's that thing of, you, you seem to have a massive amount of land and think, oh, this is going to be amazing, we're going to get so much cotton. And you end up getting far, far less than you thought you'd be going to. It does, it does pay out very well, so it's not horrendous if you don't get as much as you thought. But it always surprised me how much less you get than you think you're going to. Does that make sense? I just broken the end off that.
and with that the 936 we are done I filled up first over at the seed warehouse um, I filled up once here at the farm and what I've got in here now is the second fill but I've got 4,990 litres left in here if we go to here we are complete cotton is in it just remains now uh, well to fold this which will take about 20 minutes we'll let that do its thing <laughs> which is cool because it's realistic it's how it should be I was mesmerised by the unfolding I've been mesmerised by the folding I love it did it eat up the meters? Absolutely. This thing just devoured the landscape as we went around. It didn't take anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. So we'll get out here with the um, the trident with the fertilizer back on it. We'll get some fertilizer in it. Um, I keep thinking about um, what was sort of said about what I've been doing, the sort of style of gameplay, and the fact I'm, it's, it's, I do the same thing all the time. I'm, this compared to, to um, Carpathian this one was very much i wanted to produce stuff myself i wanted to make my own seed i wanted to um make my own fertilizer i did all that um processing i did all the straw off the fields i did the rock picking um and i ch turned the straw to manure the manure to fertilizer making my own um carpathian i haven't done any rock picking um i'm buying all of my products I, i'm either getting it brought in and shipped in and put into the tanks or I'm buying my I mean I had to buy herbicide on here I haven't produced any herbicide but my fertilizer and all that um I don't know to me it, it feels very different well I don't know, it's just me I am considered though no. oh that's for the other let's play that's now I can get back on there again let's head forward I'm gonna give this a bit of a a bit of a whoosh and we'll put it into I think the big quan set over at the other bit of farm I was thinking actually since we've got the money mind you I've got to be careful um, I am I am intending as I keep saying I'm gonna buy cotton harvesters. I could lease them and obviously there's the Colossus pack one now and realistically I could buy same with sugar beet or potato harvesting I could buy three or four cotton harvesters I could buy one of those which would do the job of three at the speed it runs Again, it's not that it's not realistic. It's what you want to do personally. If I'm saying to myself, "Okay, moving forward," I said that money I've made, all that money from fertilizer, it's going to run out at some point because if I continue to buy big fields and I start to buy some bigger machinery, multiple harvesters, that kind of stuff, I'm going to buy another harvester for doing our sorghum and doing our barley. So I'll have two normal harvesters running. If I say, "Okay, moving forward, I'm going to move more into doing cotton," I'm going to invest in harvesters. That three million is going to disappear. It's going to evaporate. Um, so then it comes down to what I'm making just on my fields at that point. So building up that money in advance gives me the opportunity to then look at what can I do next. Um, I know it's not to everyone's liking. It's, it's one of those things, isn't it? I'm just not sure now, actually, judging by the length of this, where the concept's placed. I'm just thinking what else have I got in this barn. I forgot room. Oh, uh, okay, maybe not. Maybe I could move one of those out and fit it in. I'll give it a wash. Oh, I'm going to put it to the side for the time being. What I'll probably do is I'll take the roller out because I'm going to need to use the roller. Actually, that's on mulching at the moment, isn't it? Oh, no, that's rolling. That is on roller. That's the one, again, if you're new to you haven't watched all of these, this is the modded one and you can have it as a field roller, mulcher, or crop roller, field, you know grass roller, field roller or mulcher yeah, which makes it incredibly versatile what I'll probably do is bring that out because I need to use it move that over there and then because of where the trees are I can get the angle just right to back this in into that space there I'll do that, let's just give this a bit of a wash first with my atmospheric jet washer taking liquid out of the atmosphere <laughs> oh that washed down really quickly I thought something it was that's cool front tank was an absolute godsend I'm glad I got that I'm at that point here I, I said earlier on I you know, both the let's plays at the moment like I said views are, are tanking um, but I, I know where I want to finish this 
you know, I have reached other points in other Let's Plays when views start to trail off and people are bored and fed up. I'm kind of still enjoying doing what I'm doing. And you start thinking, I've got, I, I need to move on to something else. But there's, there's more I want to finish off on here. I don't want to kind of end it, okay, I haven't harvested the crops I just put in the ground. I want to get another harvester. I want to buy cotton harvest. I want to do a big cotton harvest. There's stuff left I want to do. So, I'm going to... Well, let me move these out of the way. I'll see you in a minute. I'll, I'll get these put in. Uh, then we'll whiz over, grab a fertiliser spreader, and I'll get on with the fertiliser spreader, and then I'll do the rolling after that. It needs to be done, so we'll get that out. And this one, the roller um, a mulcher, runs faster than the standard version. I think it's double the speed. And the original the standard one's seven, is it? Seven miles now? This time it runs at 15. It's over double, but let's put that there. I'm going to end up showing me doing it on as I always do. I'll see you in a minute and then I carry on talking and carry on doing the job. Ooh, tight. Ooh. We got there. I I, also, I keep thinking back to when I came onto here, what did I start with? I arrived with my Land Rover. I had, did I have, th have $300,000? I think I bought, or 300000 I bought over with me, didn't I? Yeah, I had some money from Ballam Road, didn't I? Yeah. Um, so this can be my planter, my planter shack. Oh, hang on, we got caught in the corner. What we caught? That's not good. It's like caught right in the corner or something. Does not want to move. Have we caught? Oh, is the tank caught on the roof? That could be a problem. We are, aren't we? I'm wondering whether or not if I um, go and get the telehandler. I can grab the tanks maybe with the straps and move over to you know what I do. Oh, I'm going to move this around in a minute. I'll, uh, I'll see you in a second. That's, that's wandered because I didn't leave it there. And there we go. We're in. I didn't actually need to get the telehandler in the end. I just had to get closer into the wall. And as I moved it, I just had to edge it ever so slightly at an angle, bring it forward further before I could swing it out. Both in, I've got enough room there, I think, to get the, um, probably get the roller in there as well. I keep thinking I've got to put that seed hawk somewhere. Unless I build it, mm, so I could probably do with an open shelter, one of those bigger ones you can drive right the way through. I've got the larger barn over there. If I put it in two separate sections, I could put it in there maybe. But anyway, I move the roller over. We'll put the fertiliser in the fertiliser spreader and then I'll get on the fertiliser in the rolling. I will crack on with um, I'm anticipating when I see you next will be for the harvest. Actually, that's a good point. Let's double check on our harvesting. So, our barlets in the ground we can harvest August, our sorghum August, providing it's ready August, could be August, September, providing I've given it enough time. It could be August or September time, and then our cotton that we just put in the ground now won't be ready till November. Now, because I've got massive field of sorghum, massive field of barley, um, I'm going to buy a second harvester. I'm just debating at the moment whether or not my OCD will allow me. <laughs> I want to get. I was thinking of just doubling up, getting another one of these, so I have two of those running. Then I thought, well, I could go bigger, but do I go bigger and get a bigger case? Then I was thinking there's some of the John Deere ones that have got like 20,000 litre capacities with the really the big top um, tops on them. Um, but can I go green and red on the same farm? I don't know if I can. <laughs> I could, I suppose, but I don't know if I can. We'll have a think about that. Or I could just buy three of those. I don't know. We'll have a look. Um, 
and my intention is I know I've kind of done it a weird way around and again it depends how you want to farm how you go about it we met we made our money or I made my money selling the fertilizer that I'd made through the production of taking straw to make manure from manure to fertilizer and that's and then I sold a ton of that and made a load of money um, you can buy fields gradually get bigger and bigger fields more and more fields and each harvest make more and more money I've made my money to a point where I can now buy bigger fields and buy the machinery to go with it with the vision of looking forward that if the farm was to carry on it's in a good position that from then it can then carry on season after season that's the sort of plan so that 3.2 million I've got sitting there by the time we leave here that will be pretty much gone because like I say I have every intention of buying cotton harvesters so that moving forward they can carry on doing cotton harvesting I know it's not here for the area but that's the plan and then potentially two maybe three normal harvesters so if you're doing harvesting on the bigger fields normally that could all be done more efficiently as well um yeah so I, I'm, I'm i'm anticipating leaving the farm in a, in a position where like i say i arrived with a land rover a land rover and a bit of walking around money <laughs> um so yeah that's that's where i'm at that's what i'm thinking i'll get my fertilizing done so I'll probably see if I harvest. I have, of course, then got all of the... Um, I've got to keep the animals chugging away until then. So I've got to bounce through. So whilst for you, the next episode may... Well, whenever I get you know, get get it done. And that's what I'm saying is that it's going to take me a while because every day I skip through. I can, I can bounce through probably a month. Then I have to feed the animals because the feed starts to drop quite rapidly the chickens is going to be a problem silage i'm using double the amount of silage to hay and straw in my total mix ration mixer but i think i've got more silage stored there i have been bringing bales over from the bale storage right over there you can just see the orange bales in there i've been bringing a few bales over at a time with the telehandler and dropping them into the mixer over there as well so i should be okay to keep going again with the, the concept that as we move through into the next season if i wanted to i can get out like i did early on and I can mow everything that I've got get it all wild where it's grass I can tread it and make it into hay I can make silage bales or just produce silage well, however I want to go about it um, so that moving forward I've got enough for feeding my animals that's the plan as well so um, yeah go into the field let's get crack a lacking shall we We're going to use a fair bit, I would imagine. Well, I'll say that. Maybe we will, maybe we won't. Let's open that up. Bottom left to make sure we're looking okay. So for the crop type, for cotton... I'm assuming there's information for it. For cotton on this soil type... At the moment, cotton on silty clay. Whilst bottom left, it's not showing green. I know I've shown this a few times, but it's just to, you know because you look at it and think I should be green that should be saying perfect for both there you go bottom, bottom right pH value and nitrogen perfect for the crop on that particular um, ground expected yield 89% I was hoping it was going to be higher than that that's interesting or maybe that's the, that's the expected yield on that soil type anyway it's not always going to be up to 100 or 125% I guess so anyway that's where I'm going to leave this episode I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.